Checks are basically legal documents that can be used like cash. Although not every establishment accepts checks as a form of payment for goods and services, they're still useful instruments for those who don't want to carry large amounts of money everywhere. If you're not familiar with writing checks, let us guide you through the six simple steps of issuing one so you can finally use them for your future transactions. Step number one, write the date on the blank located in the upper right corner of the check. Most have a label for this blank. Remember that you are issuing a legal document. Make sure to put the date that you will sign it, and not before or after. Step number two, put the name of the person or company who will receive the check on the pay to the order of blank. Double check the spelling of the recipient's complete name and avoid using acronyms for company names. Checks can also be made out to cash. This is for if you are willing to allow anyone to cash it from the bank. Step number three, after writing the recipient of your check, you can now insert the amount that you wish to pay. Remember to use the dollar sign and include the exact amount up to the last cent. Step number four, put the monetary amount of the check in words. You can put zero over 100 after writing the price in word form. For example, you can write $100 and zero over 100 on the blank provided. Because checks are used to withdraw cash from the bank, some people might take advantage of you and use them improperly. They might add words that will increase the amount issued to them. If this happens, the amount of the check expressed in numbers will be disregarded. Instead, the amount expressed in words is going to be considered by banks as the correct value of the check. To avoid this from happening, write the word even, after putting the exact amount of the check in words. For example, $100 even. Another way is to write a line after the words $100 up to the end of the blank provided. Step number 5, sign the check. This blank is located at the bottom right corner. Your signature is going to make the check valid. This means that it is an important ingredient when writing one. Without your signature, an issued check will be considered invalid. If someone fakes it, you can charge that person with forgery. Step number 6, fill out the memo section. This part can be optional but filling it out will help the recipient sort out the check that he or she receives. For example, you can write whether the check is issued to pay for your rent or for purchasing other goods and services. You might be nervous when you write a check for the first time. But as you issue more, you will get used to the process. You may even learn to enjoy the convenience of using this financial instrument.